Hello, I'm Dr. Jeremy Bernstingle, the Managing Director of Regenesis Europe. On behalf of the entire company, I'd like to talk to you about what you should know about the physical treatment of groundwater pollutants. Traditional approaches to groundwater treatment involve the use of a range of physical and mechanical methods. For example, removing contaminants through pumping, extraction, filtration, volatilization, and so forth. These methods can require the construction of elaborate engineered systems and the consequent operation and maintenance of these over significant periods of time, months, or sometimes years even. These systems have been used since around the mid-1980s for treating a range of contaminants in a variety of geological settings, with variable success it must be said, and have been deployed on different scales at project sites ranging from large Superfund projects to small corner gas stations. A typical example of a pump and treat system would consist of abstraction or recovery wells from which the contaminated groundwater is pumped to the surface, then the contaminants removed from it by methods such as air stripping or activated carbon filtration. The key point to note in this is that the only contaminant mass that can be treated is that which is recovered by the well from mobile phases within the aquifer. In other words, contaminated vapors, free products, or contaminated water. Unfortunately, most common contaminants that require treatment are only sparingly soluble and within the aquifer are for the most part sorbed onto the solid aquifer matrix or trapped as smear and perhaps pockets of slowly dissolving free product contamination. For this reason, the efficiency and contaminant removal rate of pump and treat systems tails off significantly once the initial recoverable free products and highly impacted water or vapors have been removed. This drop in recovery efficiency of pump and treat and other mechanical systems is directly related to the solubility of the contaminant being treated, the subsurface geology and geochemistry, and the age and thus degree of weathering of the groundwater plume. As recovery of contaminated groundwater progresses, each successive volume of groundwater recovered by the system contains less and less contaminant. Yet the cost of recovering each volume remains the same, or may even increase with increasing maintenance costs of ageing systems. A plot of the mass of contaminant recovered in a pump and treat approach versus the cost to operate the system will show that most systems drop rapidly in efficiency, eventually approaching asymptotic conditions. As you can imagine, this can leave the project stakeholders in the challenging position of having spent a significant amount of time, energy and resources on an engineered physical treatment system that is becoming increasingly inefficient, with operation and maintenance cost continuing and the project still falling short of the clean-up objectives. For this reason, innovative approaches to groundwater remediation have evolved that are able to avoid or address these challenges, and these can be used to take over from, or sometimes even enhance, a pump and treat system when its efficiency begins to fail. Such technologies include the use of chemical oxidation reactions or naturally occurring biological processes to destroy or degrade groundwater contaminants such as petroleum hydrocarbons and chlorinated solvents. These processes, commonly known as in situ chemical oxidation and enhanced bioremediation, are conducted through the delivery of different reactive compounds into the contaminated subsurface. These reagents can be efficiently applied through the use of temporary mobile injection equipment that is often only required during the initial application of the compounds and can be removed from the site directly thereafter. Following reagent application, chemical and biological reactions proceed underground, destroying the contaminants in situ. This can be very discreet, often with little or no sign of activity at the surface. In summary, the physical treatments of groundwater contaminants can be an effective approach. However, as the project proceeds, these highly engineered systems become increasingly costly and less efficient. Innovative or alternative technologies such as chemical oxidation or enhanced bioremediation can be used in place of or in addition to physical systems to clean up a site, resulting in more efficient and less costly remediation. Regenesis, the global leader in advanced technologies for groundwater and soil remediation, provides a range of patented, injectable, bioremediation and chemical oxidation compounds specifically designed to integrate with or serve as alternatives to physical or mechanical remediation systems. 
where Genesis maintains a highly qualified staff of scientists, engineers, geologists and chemists to support environmental professionals in selecting and applying appropriate technologies for effective site remediation. For more information or a free technology applicability consultation, visit regenesis.com or call 949-366-8000.